I'm struck, uh, Michael, not just this conversation, but our, our, our prior ones as well, at how progressive this business seems to be in terms of its use of technology. You, you talked about how the sanctity of data was something that was burned in your brain years ago. And there are many organizations that are much more recently come to that conclusion and may, maybe don't even yet have a data strategy in place. So new is that discipline in a lot of organizations. As you mentioned, for, for years now, even predating your time in technology, uh, clearly had a progressive point of view of making sure that as you were developing your technology, it's not growing or ballooning to a point where it, it dominates the run the business aspects of technology, dominate to such an extent to decrease the flexibility you have uh, to focus on the new and do new things for your company, for your company's customers and so forth. Um, you know, I, I wonder if you could take a moment to reflect uh, the extent to which there are some insights that you can share on how this, uh, the orientation of this organization to be so progressive in its thought process around technology. Yeah. You know, on the data side, it's been, it's, it's, it's interesting. It takes me back. I, th- I remember back in 2003, it was back when the KPI dashboards was a big thing. And we'd rolled out a KPI dashboard and it had, you know, key performance indicators had, had 15 and then it grew to 20 and then it grew to like 500. And we realized it became a kind of an all performance indicators dashboard. And we need, we needed a different technology infrastructure for that. And I had to go, I was a director at the time. I wasn't even an officer in the company, but I had to go out and sell this concept of, because uh, of having a centralized resource for dashboarding, for for reporting, um, for data. And what we, you know, back then, data was very siloed. Um, you had every department that was kind of doing their own thing around data and and reporting. And I had to convince them, let's let's hold off on that. Let's pool resources. Let's go to a common platform. And, and, and the vision also was that we could have something that was um, usable, not only for the officers, not only for the management team, but they could be on the same platform that a, a supervisor on a, on a freight dock could be in looking at his or her metrics. We wanted something that could work up and down the whole organization. And at the time, there weren't vendors in the market to support that kind of vision. Um, we didn't want to have people worrying about inner and outer joins uh, that weren't working in IT to, to manage their data within such a, a reporting framework. And, and so we did. We, we spent three years and we, we, we completely redid the data architecture for the organization and then redid the front end and built our own BI platform uh, for the company. It's still in place today. Um, we do have other products that we've, we've added on uh, since then, knowing that we're, that's not our our core competency. But what I think that did though, Peter, is that the takeaway is this, we've been successful in being able to sell these concepts, uh, these end-to-end concepts, these game-changing concepts to the functional side, the business side, um, and and cast that vision. And they've been participants in that process. And so I think that's key as you're trying to progress these kind of initiatives. 